We ask that if you don't have a seat, you can find one. And um, once, of course, I just said find your seat, but will you please stand up for our Pledge of Allegiance led by our girls on the run? from the excited faces on our students here um, getting ready to move into school. Thank you for choosing to spend this special moment and occasion with us. As educators, uh, we have the ability to touch and inspire the lives of our students. This is something that we do not take lightly. We can inspire within them the desire to dream great things, and we can inspire within them the ambition to make those dreams come true. As parents and family and friends, we also have the ability to touch and inspire the lives of our children with the love and support that we provide them as our kiddos go through life. It is also something that should not be taken lightly. We are duty bound to help them reach their fullest potential. And to do so, they must be able to dream and have within them the desire to work toward and accomplish dreams and aspirations. Students, I'd like to talk to you for just a second. Next year will be an exciting time for all of you. Though you may be a little bit nervous about your first year in middle school, it won't be long until you have come adjusted to your new schedule, your new teachers, and the new school that you will be attending. You will make lots of new friends, but I encourage you to look for those familiar faces and the relationships you made here at high school. Uh, the friends that you have made over the years in this school can help you make that transition into middle school much easier for each of you. Support each other as you face the challenges associated with your first years of middle school. Next year, you will have many opportunities to participate in school activities. There will be clubs to join, athletic teams to try out for, and I encourage you to participate in as many of these opportunities as you can. Your participation in these types of activities will not only be a great way for you to make new friends, but it will also help you develop new skills that will greatly enhance your educational experience. Parents, talk to you for a second. Perhaps the single most thing you can do to help your children develop a success, uh, to help them develop into successful young adults is to inspire within them the desire to dream big and to work diligently toward making their dreams come true. I encourage you to continue and support your child's imaginative mind and creative efforts. Students, as you move forward into the future, dream big and work toward achieving all of the wonderful things in life that only you can imagine. Remember that it all starts with a dream, however a dream is just the beginning. You must also develop a plan, put that plan into action, and work step by step towards achieving your ultimate goals. I wish you all the best as you move into middle school, and congrats to our fifth grade students, and you as parents and families of Isaiah and the students.
was finally special to me because she was sweet. She wasn't too short, but she wasn't too calm. Joyce was the right amount of everything. She would always turn more and more into the fun games, but at the same time, we'd still learn. She was the best first grade teacher ever. Miss Boyle was special to me because she was thoughtful. She always knew what to do when there was a problem. She was always so kind to me and to everyone. She was the best second grade teacher ever. Miss Blue was special to me because she felt like a real friend. I could talk to her about anything or everything. She could always count on me for anything. She is so nice. I love her personality. She was the best third grade teacher ever. Miss Conrad was special to me because we both loved Disney. She always has an open heart, but sometimes that's what we have to say. Kind hearted, amazing, funny, beautiful, and much, much more. She is the best fourth grade teacher ever. And last but never forgettable, Miss Madera. She was the most unforgettable teacher out there. I love her so much, she is one amazing teacher. Some words to describe Ms. Montero are passionate, lovely, persistent, calm, and wonderful. She is always so patient with me. She always has this happy mood every day, no matter what. And that's why she's the best fifth grade teacher ever. All the teachers are amazing. They helped me throughout six years of life. I will miss Isaac, but I've had my time to shine, and I'll take her the house's turn. Being in Isaac Austria was amazing. Every day, some teachers would spend half of the on their face. They made me feel well. When an Isaac Austria moves to me, this far from being explained. Is that amazing? Some things I really have enjoyed throughout these years are field day, book parties, last day of school, popsicle party, variety show, jump rope contest, girls on the run, one community, stem night, skating parties, and the other Thank you for helping me throughout these years. I really appreciate it.
Well, when I was in kindergarten, my teacher, Mrs. Hilton, had a play kitchen, and I remember using it. And I'm positive that my teacher did not buy that play set because she wanted us to be occupied. I think she bought that play set so that she could see us learn and know that we would have a bright future at Isaac. And to make sure that this is an environment where we did not have to learn, but we got to learn. I'm very lucky for that. And I know that many people think that your teachers are just teaching you to teach, but that is not always the case. The teachers have been through what you are going through, but harder. They might have had a teacher at school that might not have been as fun or as easy as Isley. Isley lets you go in the whole curriculum and help you through middle school when things might not be as easy and as fun. But do not worry for your teacher in middle school. Because your teachers and all the other staff are helping you, seem like it's not going to be scary and The staff and teachers have been what you have now they know all the things that can make it difficult or unsafe in you. So they fix the response out of kindness. My teachers have changed my life and my future by preparing me and helping me grow up step by step. If I did not go to a school as good as Isley, jump from elementary to middle school would seem impossible. But I'm ready for that change and I'm ready to learn. Even if that step seems too tall, my teachers have made an imprint in my heart that will always remind me of how much I have learned and that no step is too tall for me and that nothing can stand in my way if I try. My years at middle school will be hard, but I know that even if you think you may not be able to get there, you will, and there's no doubt that you will, at your pace and at your level. Even if someone is moving at a faster pace, that's okay, because everyone has their own pace. I would also like to thank all my teachers for helping me to get where I am now. All their time and effort really pay off. I know my future will be right because of this. And remember, your peers will always be there to support you. And even if they do not go to the same middle school, I'm sure you will make tons of ways to help write yourself. And remember to always follow a chance that you can be a great student. And continue to time as the all stars. Thank you for coming to the program. Thank you. 
you're here, I believe. Was when I was in Miss Hilton's class going to my kindergarten and I was seeing it after the leopard ball game. I also remember going to the zoo with my friends and making so many fun moments. I remember that me and my friends made sure people remember me. As it has helped me be a better person by showing me how to be respectful and never to be excited. My future is here and changed my life and never wanted to send the school to learn from high school. Being an aunt, I will all start to me means you are part of the team making this school what it is. As it is like being a part of the big thing. Sometimes we get mad at each other and then we forgive each other. It also means that you are not alone. Isaac and all my teachers have made my future stronger. Each morning, a pledge says, "We are not here alone, and together we will make as we shine." So I know I'd never be alone. Isaac has made my future bright by teaching me to never judge a book by its cover. Isaac has helped me through middle school by teaching me to always be nice to people because you never know what's going on in it. Isaac has also helped me with believing in myself and helping me make so many friends. Thank you for making this full year for Ms. Smartly Avery and Laura and Mom and Dad. Someone who really helped me this year is Avery. She showed me what a true friend is. There's, there's someone you can always count on in this relationship. Thank you for coming or watching the class. Shoot for the moon as the All-Stars tag for it. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them, and we help them in return. Well, I don't know if I believe that's true, but I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better, but because I knew you, I have been changed for good. It well may be that we will never lifetime so let me say before we part so much of me is made of what I learned from you you'll be with me like a handprint on my heart and now whatever way our stories end I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend like a ship blown from its mooring by a wind off the sea like a seed dropped by a sky bird in a distant wood who can say if i've been changed for the better but because i knew you I have been changed I have been changed for good
ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see I'll be the light to guide you Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me Like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on you Like four, three, two And you'll be there Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you Oh, Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can't count on me Like one, two, three, I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah You'll always have my shoulder when you cry I'll never let go, never say What friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, ooh, ooh You can count on me cause I can count on you
dream that you did to oh why, oh why can't I? I, I well I see trees of green and red roses too. I watch them bloom for me and you and I think to myself. Skies of blue and I see clouds of white and the brightness of day. I like the dark and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Also on the faces of people passing by I see friends shaking and singing How do you do? They really say I, I love you I hear babies cry and I watch them go They'll learn much more What a wonderful world. world Someday I wish upon a star Wake up with the clouds are far behind Me will travel melts like a lemon drops High above the chimney top that's where Way up high And the dream that you did to Why, oh why can I, I It's been a long day without you, my friend And I tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you All the plays we flew, the things we've been through But I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path, I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch out, look at things different, see the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place See you in a better place, uh How can we not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I went through
Gavin Backer. Lacey Baker. Nicholas Banzi. Chandler Barnett. Miriam Boulouche. Benjamin Bouts. Griffin Boyd. Luke Brokaw. Grant. 
Samuel Hangerman. Riley Halpin. Moraline Foote. Anaya Hughes. Lillian Jackson. Reagan Johnson. Simon Johnson. Jasmine Jordan. Peter Kennedy. Easton Kilpatrick. Seamus Krapke. Micah Lane. Mahela Lane. Jalen Lewis. Lingani Marin. Anna Nikolic. Lillian Nikilin. Fatima Mohamed. Abraham Mohamed. Brooke Morris. Trinity Morrissey. Lila Mosier. CJ Noah. <laughs> Tamara Arango. <laughs> Melanie Oxley. NJ <laughs> Penitiski. Samaya Parrish. John Patrick. Woo! Kaylee Phillips. Piper Pitt.
Jakira Power. <laughs> Judy Coffey. Armand Reed. Austin Reese.
drifted to you just for a moment. I want you to remember all of these faces that were here today and couldn't be here, and also to all of the teachers and staff at Isley. You would not be who you are today without their support. You know, they've encouraged you and sometimes you for your next adventure. So you are always going to be an Isley All-Star. You are always welcome to come back. They would love to see you. You said lots of encouraging things about how you've been impacted over the last six years if you've been here all of your elementary or if you've just been here for a portion of it. So I just want to congratulate all of you on your hard accomplishments and good luck for everything that comes ahead of you, whether that is middle school, high school, elementary, or not elementary, you're finished with that. Um, whatever comes after this, know that the sky is the limit and you can be anything that you want to. Families, I would like you one last time to give a huge shout out and celebration.